Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm bringing you all episode 5 of The Sims 4 Willow Creek Stories. So we have arrived at Feather and Thinley's, and Birch is actually currently at work, so for now we're going to be spending a little bit of time with Feather and Thinley. This Sunday, Thinley is actually practicing his writing. He hasn't written anything for a really, really long while. Of course, this used to be his job, and he definitely was missing writing, so he thought today that he'd start just doing some writing exercises just to get back into it. As we can see here, Feather is doing some painting. They are feeling very, very creative today, it seems. So of course, Feather also wants to pick up her paintbrush again. She also wants to paint something for Birch, and this is tying into the exciting thing about Birch, which I did say a minute ago. So I'm gonna get her to finish up this painting, and I'm gonna get her to get started on the other one. I think she's just gonna sell this one, as she's not too bothered with keeping it, and it can bring them in a bit of money. Now, as you can see, Feather did move the easel outside, because she actually wants to do a painting from a reference for Birch, and she wants to reference that area over there. So Feather thought this would be a perfect housewarming gift. <laughs> Birch is getting his own house. I, I think it was already quite obvious as I have been kind of building or he has been building up to this for a while and saving up for a while and we've obviously been talking about it a lot but she really wanted to make him a or paint him a housewarming kind of a gift and this was his favourite like area to spend time in all the time because it was the like community garden space in this area of Willow Creek and of course he had lots of his club gatherings here so Feather wanted to paint him a painting of this area. So she is going to get started on that now and luckily the cloudy weather has actually cleared up quite a bit so it is the perfect time to be outside doing some painting. Birch has now arrived home and he's actually just clearing up some of the plants and doing some housework. Of course Birch is going to begin packing now because he was planning on moving this evening so he is going to begin packing up everything in his bedroom because he's going to be bringing all of this to his new home. So Birch has packed up his room. I actually have Use the packing crates mod which I'll leave a link for in the description if you're interested in this mod. It's a really good mod because you can pack furniture in here which is so handy because Birch is going to be bringing all of his bedroom furniture to his new bedroom so this has just been so very handy. Feather has actually finished the painting. It looks very very overexposed I've got to say but this is the painting and I'm gonna go ahead and get Birch to come look at what Feather made for him. I think he's probably saying wow mum I can't believe you made this for me it looks wonderful and she's like you're so welcome honey I'm so proud of you. So he's gonna go ahead and plop that into the packing crate with him. I think it's almost time though that he does go ahead and move into his house so of course Finley is coming out here and giving him a hug. Of course they're gonna come with him to help him get settled in. Birch is currently phoning James actually. He's asking James if he'll help him move some of the crates, move some of the furniture in. And I think James is like, of course, I'd love to help you. So he's like, awesome, you know, we're about to go drive there now. It's literally just opposite my mum and dad's house, which is the truth. <laughs> I'll let you guess which one does belong to Birch. So you can guess now, but I think it's quite obvious. It is this one right here. So that is Birch's new home, which is so exciting. Also, you may have noticed there are lots of autumnal decorations that is because it is the first day of autumn today so sims are getting all decorated for harvest fest and spook fest and stuff if you are interested i did actually do a build a speed build of his new home i did create this home myself for butch so if you are interested in watching the speed build i'll leave a link to that in the description box but i think it is time we head on in to butch's new homes so let's have a little <laughs> slow wander in so here we are so as i did say there is a speed build so i won't give you guys a full tour here well i will give you a quick tour though but yeah this is butch's new home i wanted to make it as butch would have liked it so of course this is very butch Esque, I suppose. Why is everybody crowding in the bathroom? I mean, it's a, not that good of a bathroom. It's just a very basic bathroom. They all seem to be flocking there. <laughs> but yeah, I imagine they're probably unpacking right now. They're probably like looking around the house. And this is actually Birch's bedroom, which I haven't furnished yet because of course I did want to pack the stuff he already had in his bedroom to move in here. I think this house is so lovely though. And it's a starter home. So it's very, very basic. And that's kind of what I wanted. Of course, this is Birch's first house. Of course, I wanted to give him a lovely garden. So so here is Birch's back garden and fun fact, the plot 
or the lot I should say this is on actually was where Feather's house first was but I decided to bulldoze it and replace it with a new home for Birch so I just thought that was kind of like a cute fun fact there I suppose. You may have noticed though that I was very very inspired by the surrounding houses created by Tiny Cow Plant because of course I am playing the Little Root save file which is my favourite save file in The Sims 4 and I wanted all the houses to match so a huge 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 shout out to Tiny Cow Plant because I was heavily obviously inspired by the homes in his save file which we're currently playing in. So I just finished varnishing his bedroom so let's go ahead and head inside. So it's an interesting shape, I'm still getting used to building The Sims 4 so you'll have to bear with me but of course we have his bed, his dresser here, a lovely picture, we have his laundry bar basket and then just in this corner we have some of his camping supplies so for now it's quite like a bare room I suppose there's a lot of space for him to you know get dressed get ready he doesn't spend a lot of time in his bedroom anyway so I thought this would be the perfect kind of setup for him I think that Birch is all settled in now though so he's gonna go ahead and give Feather a hug so she can go home he's saying I can't believe I actually managed to get my own place like this place is mine finally I think Feather's like I am so proud of you Birch you know that's so proud of you he's also gonna go Go ahead and thank James as well. He's like, hey, thanks so much for helping me, you know, move in and everything. I really appreciate it. And he's like, oh, no problem. Moving in to your first home is always so fun. So I wanted to help as much as I could. Now though, Feather is leaving. She does seem quite sad to leave, I think. And of course, so is James as well. Birch is immediately going into bed because he is absolutely exhausted. So I will be seeing you all when he does wake up tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So this is the first time Birch is waking up in his new home and he is woken up feeling very very hungry. He is going to make himself some fruit salad for breakfast today. It looks like it is pouring with rain outside which sucks because he was hoping to get his garden all set up today for of course the autumn harvest or the late autumn harvest I suppose because he's planting it now but he was hoping to do that so hopefully this weather can clear off a little bit later but either way he is feeling so happy to just be able to be in his own space to feel independent because but he has always been very I would say dependent on the other honey brews not dependent per se but he's always been kind of having their help and of course because he lived with Feather and Finley for so long after becoming a young adult he's kind of just never had as I'd say full independence and I think as well because he is the youngest honey brew he is or well, not the youngest honey brew anymore but he's the youngest honey brew sibling I suppose of gen 2 he's always been the baby you know we we see him as baby butch because he is baby butch so I think because of that he's kind of just so used to being the baby baby and he's never really felt as if he's had as I did say that much independence and he's never really felt like a grown-up but I think now he has his own place he's doing quite well in his gardening career he's definitely feeling a lot more independent and a lot more like he's his own man I suppose <laughs> the rain has turned to more light rain so I think Birch is going to take advantage of this and head outside and get started with some gardening he has some onions to plant which is good he's a lot of flowers <laughs> that of course a uh, feather did grow but I think he wants to plant some onions so I'm gonna go ahead and get him to do these now hopefully they'll be ready in time for harvest fest then he could give all the honey brews the freshly grown vegetables for the harvest fest feast I feel like feather as well would have feather and Finley would, would have also grown some stuff as well look how happy he is he's having such a lovely time he's now gonna plant some chrysanthemums which I can actually say <laughs> if we remember in the first episode I couldn't pronounce chrysanthemums for the life of me but now I can I think, I think I'm saying them right. Probably saying them wrong still. <laughs> but Bert is going to get some of those planted as they will look so beautiful. I think they're such a beautiful kind of autumn flower. Now I'm getting him to plant some green beans. He'll have onions, green beans. And I'm also going to get him to plant this pear over here. So we may also have a pear tree. Fingers crossed it'll work because I'm really, really awful with like figuring out whether something is going to grow like in a specific planter box in The Sims 4 if it's like too big or something. Fingers crossed the pear is going to grow. I think it will. Hopefully it will. There we go. I mean, I trust Birch. I feel like if anyone's going to do it, it's, it's probably going to be him, right? <laughs> I think it worked. I think we've managed to sew it. I think he did a really, really good job, but now he's going to head back inside to get out of the rain. I think he's thinking of inviting over Poppy so he can go ahead and show her his new house because of course she's also been really excited about him getting his own place so he's giving her a call now and he's like you know I just moved in last night and you know I've finally settled in this morning and I'm wondering if you'd like to you know come over and check out my new place all right so Poffy has arrived so let's go ahead and invite her in I also forgot to mention it is actually 
chill in the wind today which is basically where I get my sims to decorate for spook fest and harvest fest and basically just have like a reset day it's every Monday on the 2nd of autumn and it's kind of just prepare for autumn and start getting all cozy and stuff so I think maybe Birch and Poppy could maybe work on getting his house all set up for autumn as well he's like hi Poppy you know why don't you come on in get out of this rain it is so rainy today but he seems to be, he seems to be loving the rain anyway which is sweet He's like, what do you think of my new place? And she's like, wow, it looks amazing. It's so cozy and I feel like it really reflects you as well. You've done such a good job with the place. I think Birch is probably saying, you know, I'm planning on getting out some Harvest Fest and Spook Fest decorations. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to do that together or just play on this weird cube. <laughs> Honestly, this cube drives me insane. It's like worse than the clay ball, if you ask me, but I think she's probably gonna say, you know, that sounds so fun. And I actually need to get out my Harvest Fest decoration. So maybe I could help you set up your decorations and then we could go over to my place and, you know, you can help me get it set up as well. And I think that's just actually sound really, really fun and a really, really cute thing to do today as he doesn't have work, which is very, very handy as a day off of work today. All right, he's doing a little bit of a rummage for some Spook Fest slash Harvest Fest. It is actually gonna be Spook fest first though so we're gonna prioritize some spook fest decorations he's like i really like these what do you think she's like those are so cute we got a little <laughs> i suppose harvest fest gnome <laughs> look at him he's so cute i love the little blush on his nose of course we have to have some pumpkins I had the cutest idea then that I think for this spook fest, Birch is gonna get two pumpkin carving stations. So when his nieces come around, they can do some pumpkin carving for spook fest. I think that's such a cute idea. So I'm gonna get those. So this is the outcome. Of course, he already had his like lights put up and everything, but I did add some really adorable pumpkins and jack lanterns. Seeing this is really, really making me miss autumn. I love how. Halloween and I miss autumn a lot. I wish it were autumn. I also placed a couple of things inside the house as well. And of course I did add a cornucopia and some cute little Halloween-y cards. But I think that now these guys are planning on heading over to Poppy's and getting her house all ready for autumn. As we know, they are neighbors and they were neighbors before, of course, when he lived just up the road, but that is Poppy's house <laughs> right over there. So they are even more closer now than they were before. So this is Poppy's place place so it's a bit bigger than Birch's actually but it's very very lovely very spacious very very homey I think she's saying you know I really really love it here and you know it's it's perfect because it's quite big so I feel like I can live here for quite a while they're of course now heading out into the garden and actually I've got to say I feel like Birch wins in size i suppose i mean the garden the gardens are kind of the same size i'd say but I feel like his has more room for, for planters and stuff but it's still such a wonderful garden and very very cozy it looks like poppy is playing in the mud puddle okay it's definitely safe to assume that poppy and birch are both rain people because look <laughs> Butch is also playing in the rain. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking adorable. I think as Butch was playing in the rain, he actually noticed, of course, two graves over there. I feel like Poppy's kind of saying, you know, oh, those graves, uh, yeah, they belong to my aunt and uncle. They raised me because my parents died when I was quite young and they passed away a couple of years ago. So I kind of just keep their graves back there now. So Butch is kind of saying, oh, so you've been without family for uh, quite a long time then. I'm, I'm really, really sorry to, to hear that. I think Poppy's saying, oh, you know, it's fine. I mean, you kind of get used to it and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing good there. I'm doing great, actually. I think because Birch is so used to, you know, having tons and tons of family constantly being surrounded by them, he kind of forgets, you know, that some other Sims may not have that. So kind of learning about, you know, Poppy maybe not having a lot of family members has kind of, you know, given him a lot of perspective, I suppose, on, I suppose, how, how lucky he is. And he, of course, he knew he was lucky before for his family, but now he's kind of even more lucky and he's kind of thinking to himself, how grateful he is for Feather and Finley and for his uh, brothers and sisters and his nieces. It is now the evening though, so I thought that these guys could do some cooking together, maybe cook up a yummy garden salad. I think Bart just saying, you know, later on this week, the weather's supposed to be really, really lovely. So why don't we maybe go and go camping in the Magnolia Blossom Park? I feel like it could be really, really fun just to enjoy the nicer days before it gets too cold. I think Poppy's saying, that sounds great. I'd love 
love to do that that is such a good idea and i have been camping in so long so that sounds like such a breath of fresh air i'm just getting birch now to clean up the dinner dish dishes and i think he's probably gonna head home i think he's gonna say you know this has been so fun today thanks for hanging out with me thanks for kind of helping me you know set up my decorations for autumn i really appreciate it today's been so fun but of course he is saying that you know i kind of have to head off now though but yeah i'll definitely hit you up when i think it'll be a good day to go camping so there we go we're going to have a hug then i'm going to go ahead and get birch to head home birch has now arrived home and he's probably gonna go ahead and get ready for bed today's ep episode has been so fun i hope you guys had a fun time sorry that we didn't get to spend much time with birch today uh in the next episode it's gonna be very 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 birch focused i have a lot of fun things planned so of course i am very very excited to explore more of birch's life in the next episode as i did say let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions for the storyline anything really just let me know and if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video